Hello YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Unpacking the Diecast Insanity. And today we're going to take a look at a bunch of burgundy cars. And first up, we have a Lamborghini Super Treasure Hunt from 2018, I think. Looks amazing in burgundy. Uh Really would like to make a run after all the burgundy super treasure hunts. Just super treasure hunts can go for ridiculous money. Uh, on average, they go for 50 bucks, or if it's a popular one, 70 to 100. So tough to spend that much on a die cast car, especially a mainline. Even though a super treasure hunt really ain't, it is a mainline. Seeing how you can find it in a store for a dollar, but worth a lot more than that. But I wish they would do full detail with the super treasure hunts. They're worth that much money off the bat. They should have lens, or not lens, but they should have painted detail for headlights and tail lights. Not sure what year the Ford Mustang's from. Love the rims on this Ford Mustang, though. And, of course, all the burgundy super treasure hunts I get I will be loose. Or I will crack open. Thought I had a Camaro, too, but... Uh oh, it's not the Camaro, but uh, I think it's a Chevelle. Sixty-seven Chevelle. Super treasure hunt. Not sure what year it's from. We have a 1970 Roadrunner. This is not a super treasure hunt. This one says treasure hunt on the back. The back quarter panel. Camera does not want to focus. And the TH up front. This is from like the Hot Wheels Classic or something. They all had Spectro Flame paint. They came out with like four or eight color variations for each vehicle. And like two or three different sets. So, But if you find them at a flea market or something, you can get a pretty good deal on them. I know I said I was going to make this burgundy car video a long time ago. But I changed my mind how I wanted to organize my burgundy cars. So I've just been trying to get that set up since then. Awesome looking burgundy Camaro. I was thinking this was a super treasure hunt, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe just the regular one was burgundy like it. Got a Ford GT. I think it's from the same series as this, maybe. Maybe not because it has the white letter tires, but I think it was. Black racing stripes. No burgundy doesn't always show up good on camera because of the reflection, just like black doesn't. Like white and yellow, they show up real good on camera. But uh, it didn't stop stop it from being my largest collection I have. I don't know, my auto roll collection is probably pretty close to my burgundy car collection. Of course, the regular Hot Wheels or the regular green light collection would really outnumber it, but... 
So this is from like Forja Racing. It's a Z-Mac on the side. And burgundy on the top. So cars like this I've always thrown back and forth if I wanted in the burgundy car collection. Because it's not completely burgundy. But it's a Camaro which I do collect. It has real riders on it. And it has front and rear detail. So... Why not? Then we have a Ford Mustang. Doesn't say the year or nothing on the bottom. It's from the 50th anniversary. I know it's a Mustang because of the tail lights and the air intake on the side and all that, but. think it'd look a lot better without the 50th on the side, but it's cool to remember the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. I think this casting used to have an opening hood, but doesn't anymore. It does have the metal base, front and rear detail, and a flat roof, which that little bit of scuffing you see on it would have been from the packaging on the roof. Uh, these flat satin black ones, uh, they scuff up real bad in the packaging. Volkswagen. Looks pretty cool in burgundy with the flames. The gold rims. The back does open on this. I don't think it does anymore. I think they changed it since then. Pretty cool little bug though. I don't think we've seen this casting in a while. It has a 2007 copyright, but I don't remember it from 2007. I don't remember seeing it. Well, maybe the only thing they changed was the hood. Yeah, I bet the only thing they changed was the hood. I think they did that last year. Custom 53 Chevy. And burgundy with flames. Yeah, I think this casting was around. It might have had an opening hood, and now it doesn't. It has a plastic hood. That's clear. It doesn't open. Looks like it should. But since it came out with the clear hood, I think they released it in a couple different colors, and then it hasn't been out since. Not to say be a casting I would collect. I don't think I would collect it, but I do like this burgundy one with the flames. Kind of goes with the Volkswagen with the yellow flames. It's like the, they look pretty good together. Almost the same era, too. I guess a Volkswagen might be about 10, 15 years newer, depending on the year Volkswagen. And then we have a... Huh. Doesn't say. Looks like a Ford Falcon or something, but does not say burgundy with flames so just keep them with the burgundy and flames we'll show the next one which is a casting I do try to complete 
I kind of always collected this casting. A couple of my original Hot Wheels from when I was a kid. I had a blue one of these and uh, maybe a red one. Maybe a black one. I don't know. I had a couple of them in my original Hot Wheels collection that I still have. They're beat up and played with. Probably doesn't have the windshield or nothing, but... They don't make this casting anymore. Because of the opening hood. They replaced it with like a concept looking Shelby. Which I do collect. I think it looks pretty cool. But they haven't released that in quite a while either. We have a Nissan Skyline GTR R33. Kind of burgundy. And I probably should have showed this one. First, a 71 Hemi Cuda. Hot Wheels did a hell of a job with this casting, though. Love the fin on it. I think it's contracted. They have to have rear detail on GTRs. Five spoke rooms. But yeah, this what is it? 71 Hemi Cuda. Burgundy with yellow flames. It's probably the best looking burgundy one with yellow flames out of any of them. So it's Hemi on the side. Got the hood pins and hood scoop. The hood scoop is black, plastic. It's part of the interior. Really awesome looking car. Happy to have that in the burgundy car collection. Got a Matchbox Corvette. 1997 Corvette. Probably about the era of the Matchbox. I don't know, it looks like a kind of old one. These scars are a little bit dusty, so I'm wiping them off with a microfiber cloth. And they're coming quite clean. So it's really helping. I used to display my burgundy car collection out on a big bench I had, and it completely covered the whole bench. It, I don't even know. Between 500 to 1,000 cars, and... Uh, that's why I was going to display them again, and I set it up like that, and I thought about it, and I really don't want to display them like that. I think I'd rather buy some of them NASCAR displays and display them in that, them, and uh, then I won't have to worry about them getting dusty or nothing. I can keep them more organized. I can put them up on the wall, and it would free up the bench for uh, dioramas or something. I would like to set up a bunch of different little dioramas. And like actually complete it with like grass, fences, do all that. And I would like to have more than one of them. So I have options for filming. Like parking lots and different sceneries. I've wanted to do that for a couple years now. And I started buying supplies to do it. And I have a lot of supplies to do it. I don't have all of it. Don't have a static grass applicator yet or nothing like that. But I really would like to get into that. So a little Mazda truck, or Volkswagen, Volkswagen Caddy, skateboard in the back. And this one's real cool. It's like a satin burgundy, it's a Johnny Lightning. That's all it says on the bottom, playing Manis. Awesome old car, though. 
kind of questionable about being in the burgundy car collection but it is burgundy and it's satin and i think i have other satin burgundy cars too i just love the look of this little old muscle car i guess this would be a hot rod before muscle cars got skinny white le or white wall tires Next, we got some uh, Jada, Big Time Muscle, Chevy Chevelle, and Burgundy, which looks amazing. Got speakers in the back window. Very detailed interior. Looks like it has switches in there for like hydraulics or something. And the steering wheel has a shifter and everything else. Now I do buy these Jadas, uh, mainly the burgundy ones, when I do find them. Especially at like a flea market or something. If I don't have it, I'll pick up the burgundy one. But uh, it will definitely something for the loose car collection. Uh, they look cool displayed together. They don't look right if you display them next to a Hot Wheels or a Green Light or any other brand. They're just too large. They actually claim to be 164th. They say 164th scale right there. 164th. But a Jada Camaro here looks amazing we'll put it next to the hot wheels camaro you know what we'll use this hot wheels camaro just for a size comparison and the hot wheels i know is right there with the green light or uh auto rolled which are true 164 and i don't think there's any size difference So you can see how it just completely disappears. So just for a size comparison on the Jada. And Hot Wheels has never claimed to be 164th. Doesn't say it on their packaging anywhere at all, I don't think. They just make them to fit in a three inch long blister. It's all based on the blister. That's why some castings are larger than 164th and some castings are smaller than 164th, like their trucks and stuff. But the Jadas, they look good on a shelf, all displayed next to each other. But you just can't display them next to a. 164 scale vehicle so it really limits me i like a lot of jadas but i don't pick them up because they're not 164 but if you know me it's hard not to pick up a burgundy car and next we have a jada Uh, 2008 Dodge Viper SRT. Which looks amazing in burgundy. Definitely thought I'd get through more cars than what I did. But the last few here are going to be all burgundy Jada trucks. That look freaking awesome. I mean, that truck don't look beautiful. An old Chevy truck, burgundy. And Jade has actually come out with quite a few burgundy trucks. One of my 
favorite. This is Ford Raptor. And they do pretty good detail. I love the next one. Oh, I love them all. I love all these trucks. But this one here. This just looks like something that uh, Whistling Diesel would have. I can see Whistling Diesel ripping around his field, tearing up some crap in this thing. I think he had one that looked similar to it. It just wasn't burgundy. Freaking paint jobs look awesome on these. Shout out to Whistling Diesel. If you ever watch one of his videos or know who he is, give this video a like. And the last truck is another Chevy truck. It looks a lot like the one I just showed you. Same tires. Just this one. That the stripe on the side's different. Same white roof. This has a black bed cover. This one has a burgundy. Yeah, some of the older truck releases, Jada's, the burgundy ones, even ones that aren't burgundy are quite hard to come by. <coughs> Blush me. Sorry about that. So that's all I got to show you today. A whole bunch of burgundy cars that I now have to organize. Let me know what you guys are collecting. If there's a specific color that you like to go after, kind of like how I go after the burgundy cars or the green machines. It's us, the green body green machines. I don't know what it is, but I just love seeing all these in a similar color, especially all these trucks. Um, big old Jadas, they just look awesome together. Let me know which one is your favorite. Is it the Super Treasure Hunts? They're probably mine, the Super Treasure Hunts. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.